sing the offertory, page 192. <laughs> Stand for the prayer of the church. O Lord, you are a jealous God. Save the third and fourth generations that will come after us from your punishment. Fill us with your son's zeal for your house that we may cast every idol from our hearts and be devoted to you and your commandments. Lord, in your mercy. O Lord, your Son's cross and crucifixion is folly to the world, but it is the source of repentance and forgiveness for all his elect. Preserve the preaching of the cross in our midst, that from this life-giving tree we would continually receive your faith-preserving gifts. Lord, in your mercy. O Lord, preserve and bless all Christian households, that husbands and wives would live in honor and service to each other that fathers and mothers would diligently bring up their children in your fear, and that children would honor their parents and be well equipped for service to their neighbors in this life. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. O Lord of the perfect law, you have called us to honor our parents and all other authorities that it may be well with us in our land. Bless all who govern us. Make them wise in your ways, that your justice may be upheld among us. Help us to serve and obey them in accord with your will. Lord, in your mercy. O Lord our God, your steadfast love in Christ is good. Turn in your abundant mercy to all who suffer in our midst. We pray for those with health issues, for Paul, for Reverend Schipple, Mary and Mary, for Andrew and Brad, for the Luz family, for uh, a co-worker, for Rick, and for all we name in our hearts, and for Phil during his time of training. Do not let the flood sweep over them, nor the pit close its mouth on them. Deliver them and grant them healing, comfort, and peace. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. O Lord, our Redeemer, a rock and Redeemer, though we cannot even discern all our errors, declare us innocent in Christ of all hidden faults, and by your Holy Spirit keep, keep us back from presumptuous sins. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. O Lord, you bless this day and make it holy with your Son's body and blood, with your word and the gifts of your altar. Grant that we may come before your presence to eat your Son's body and blood, not boasting of ourselves, but of Christ alone. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. O Lord, our rock and redeemer, Three days after the temple of your son's body was destroyed by wicked men, he raised it up again. Grant that on the last day, we and all the saints who now rest in your presence may share in the glory of his resurrection. Lord, in your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
We continue with the service of the sacrament, page 194. The Lord be with you. unto the Lord our God. It is meet and right so to do. It is truly meet, right, and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who overcame the assaults of the devil and gave his life as a ransom for many that with cleansed hearts we might be prepared joyfully to celebrate the Paschal Feast in sincerity and truth. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said take eat this is my body which is given for you this do in remembrance of me in the same way also he took the cup after supper and when he had given thanks he gave it to them saying drink of it all of you this cup is the new testament in my blood which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. 